just want to know why these highly popular green color treats or chews are being marketed as dental treats that are supposedly healthy for our dog's dental health. Now, before I go further into this, I want to preface that this is not a brand bashing video. I love the fact that this brand brings awareness to dental health because Dental health in both dogs and cats is one of the leading disease factors. Where I get frustrated or discouraged rather is when I feel that pet parents like you and I are being misled. And here's a good example. If you look at the first three ingredients, you have wheat flour, glycerin, wheat, gluten, and yes, my degree and background is in nutrition science, albeit in humans, but in my opinion, it does not take a degree or certification to be able to recognize these ingredients as low quality, cheap ingredients that, by the way, are very high in carbohydrates compared to what I would ever feel comfortable giving to my dog regularly because what does excessive carbs convert to in the body? Sugar. This can actually promote the production of plaque and tartar. And then the rest of the ingredient deck is full of words and numbers. And you know what these are? These are synthetic ingredients because all it takes is one synthetic pack to be miscalculated, misregulated, and then your dog could get an excess in something that maybe they should. I also don't love these treats and treats that are like them. I know that there's another brand that makes like little hedgehog shaped ones, which are adorable. The problem are the ingredients of these. And because they are not species appropriate, again, species appropriate or biologically appropriate essentially just means foods or ingredients that dogs were designed to digest. And these ingredients are not species appropriate or not biologically appropriate. And that means that they can be at higher risk for choking hazards or blockages because if the dog swallows it whole, let's say they really like it because of that flavoring they add in, they swallow it whole and it gets in their stomach. If they're not apt to be able to digest that because it's made with cheap filler, wheat glutens, flours, uh, cellulose, and things of that nature, it can be at more risk for digestive or blockage issues. And in fact, it's something you can easily look up as being a problem. And that's why I prefer to give my dogs more limited ingredient or single ingredient chews or treats. So in the off chance they do swallow a larger piece, I'm not as worried about them digesting it because it's made with more limited or at least more natural ingredients. Again, every dog is different. This video is just what works for my dogs. And yes, some of these popular dental chews have that VOHC stamp. But in reality, that's just telling me that the texture of the chew can help contribute to scraping off plaque and tartar. No different, in my opinion, than a dog chewing on a branch or tree bark. In fact, if you look at the packaging on both the front and the back, it specifically says that the chewy texture is what helps scrape off the plaque and tartar. So for me, it's more than just what it does, but what it's doing in my dog's body. And then when I dug into what they were really made of and how inexpensive these ingredients are, I realized these are way overpriced for what they actually claim to do, which is just to scrape plaque and tartar off. And that's great if they can do that, but if I can do that with something that's more natural, more biologically appropriate for my dog, that they're probably going to enjoy much more, I'd rather do that, especially because of the carbohydrate amount in these treats. One way you can get a good rough estimate of the amount of carbs in your dog's dry food or treats, for example, is you take all of the numbers under the guaranteed analysis. You can add all of those up, you subtract that from 100, and that's gonna give you a good rough estimate of how many carbs is in your dog's food or treat. Which means that these treats are anywhere from 30 to 35, upwards of 40% carbohydrate. That's like four times more than a natural chew like this, like this, so we're three times more of a natural chew like this or this or even this. There are so many other natural treats in chews that are gonna be less than half the amount of carbohydrates, which remember with dogs, we really wanna put them in the most optimal metabolic state so that they're not having blood sugar spikes and insulin spikes and poor metabolic health. And one of the ways we can do that is by providing them a diet they were designed to eat, which 
hint, hint, is not super high in carbohydrates. So now you're like, okay, well, what do I give my dog? How do I help my dog have healthy teeth? And here's what I do for my dogs. First and foremost, I do brush their teeth regularly. If you want my DIY toothpaste, uh, you can go to the video down below or wait till the end of the video. In fact, everything I talk about in this video will be linked down below on my shop page. Uh, in addition to that, I feed my diet, my dogs, my diet, I feed my dogs a complete and balanced as fresh as a food diet as possible. That's high in meat, high in healthy proteins, healthy fats, natural digestive enzymes, been as minimally processed and as, as low in carb as possible. Again, I have videos linked below on the specific diets I feed my dog, but that's gonna be a cornerstone foundation of making sure they have healthy teeth and in addition to that, supervised, of course, I give them healthy chews that help them scrape the plaque and tartar away, as well as chews and treats that help floss in between their teeth and massage their gums. A couple examples, again, all of it will be linked below. This is not sponsored. These are all products that I have personally purchased over the years, I have tried and love. Um, one example is gonna be a cocoa chew. This is made of 100% coconut husk, very small brand, super awesome and dogs love it because they can chew on it. It's similar to kind of like chewing on maybe like a stick, um, but it's these nice thin fibers that if a small piece falls off, I always discard any piece of any chew or toy that falls off, but Finn has eaten, you know, a couple small of these pieces, it's never posed an issue, but this harder scratchy texture massages his teeth and they love playing tug of war with it. Oh yeah, get it, get it, I also get it. love bully sticks. Now I'm very picky about pizzles or bully sticks. Yeah, you love that, don't you? Uh, because now that they've grown in popularity and same thing with yak chews like this, now that these have grown in popularity because pet parents love how natural they are, minimal ingredient, lower in carb, higher in healthy fat and protein, uh, the quality of these from brands, in my opinion, has lessened quite a bit. They, a lot of them have been uh, mass produced. They have been, they've been treated with chemicals that I would never want my dog to digest so or ingest. So if you are interested in the ones that I love, these are all linked below. Uh, another one are these like Icelandic cod skin chews. It's only one single ingredient, which is hand wrapped, very durable, kind of a tough material cod skin. These are sustainably sourced. Big, big fan of this brand. Um, also, Real Dog Box make these monthly uh, subscription boxes for treats and chews of low temperature, gently air dried, natural chews. Um, these are some of my favorite. This is just in a duck neck which seems, I don't know, maybe kind of crazy, but this is what dogs were naturally meant to eat and the chewing of it uh, really helps scrape their teeth. Or one of the brands that I've recently learned about, I went to a local pet store, I bought this with my own money to give it a try. And if you really are looking for something that's daily, that's gonna have a similar function of those green treats where when they bite on it, it kind of scrapes on their teeth, but it's something they could get, you know, once a day, every couple of days or so. These crumps, very limited ingredient, probably a tiny bit more carb than I'd normally give, but I love the fact that they're made with oyster shells, uh, coconut oil, and some fish. So you're gonna get some healthy omegas, very limited ingredient, not overly processed and not filled with any synthetics at all. And I love the fact that they are really crunchy. In fact, let me give the boys one so you guys can kind of see them and what they look like. Um, what I do for my dogs, I have 60 pound dogs, is I'll break this in half, just like, it's kind of tough. Like it's a nice tough chew. Ah, there we go. So kind of broke it in half. There you go. And it takes them a little bit to crunch and chew on it. Now, when it came to this one, the one I like will be linked below because there were flavored ones that um, of this brand, nothing against the brand. I don't know them. Um, but I didn't love. So this specific one, which is just the more natural fisherman mix one, is the one I preferred because there was one that had some flavoring that I wasn't a biggest fan of. Yes, I'm a little bit of an ingredient snob, if you will. And I, I, snob sounds so pretentious. Just, I'm very picky because it is very difficult as a pet parent to navigate the market 
in today's world, which is why I make the videos that I make, not to tell you what to do, but to help give you as much information as I can so that you can make an informed decision. At the end of the day, you get all the information, you get to make the best choice for your dog. And I actually found that these last longer in terms of like my dogs chewing on it than those greeny treats anyway. So to me, this is like a really easy alternative. Uh, and it's a smaller company, so you're supporting the little, the little guy. And don't forget, I'm not sitting here judging you for what you do and don't give your dog. In fact, in the past, my Labrador here, you can see him here or resting here, when he was younger, I gave him one of these greeny dental chews almost daily because I thought that I was helping promote dental health. But it wasn't until I really dug into the ingredients and really understood dental health in dogs that I realized that it's not just the fact of scraping the teeth clean, though it's important, but what we feed our dogs, their actual diet, can have a massive impact on their overall dental health. If you found this valuable and you want more videos like this, make sure you click that subscribe button and go down below into the description. You'll see the list of all my favorite dental products as well as more videos um, to help. Now, if you want to learn more about what I feed my dogs, click the video right here. Or if you want to learn even more about more dental chew options, click the video right here. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.